I almost ate shit there. I got too eager. Evan's a dum dum and doesn't know what he's doing. Holy shit! It's... I only get into the rage like this with FromSoft games or anything akin to it when there is when shit feels like if if a, if, a, if a boss is just like poorly made, it's poorly made. Whatever. It's fine. But my problem is when there are established rules, like the, like there's a covenant between the developer of these types of games and the player that's playing. Right? It is you. This is a hard game. This is a can be a punishing game, but the way that the game works is consistent. If you can snipe a fucking boss from twenty feet away and win that way, so be it. If you if the, the 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 world works this way, there will there might be new things added that you have to make like make sense of, but the rules in place are consistent. Sekiro's rules have the base from softy stuff of like you know, if you have the tools of your ability to do it, you can do it, and if you can figure it out, you can figure it out. If you can cheese it, you can cheese it. That's fine. And Sekiro's big thing is is attacks that have the red symbol cannot be blocked. Everything else can be. From the monkey throwing shit, the shit from a monkey throwing it can be blocked. Bullets can be blocked. Swords, everything can be blocked. And this is the first time I've played this like any bot type the reason i'm raging so hard right now is because and i'm raging harder than if the boss i feel like is just is like poorly designed in a certain way is i don't feel like it's my lack of skill here necessarily there are certain aspects with this fight that i've been watching obviously i've been hopelessly bad at the harakiri counter against the corrupted monk here my problem fundamentally is that there are there are a couple attacks that are not highlighted as unblockable but are practically treated as unblockable whether i am spot dodging for the perfect parry or i am just straight up holding the block button it hits me i need y'all to give me a second Jordi, give me a second. I dealt one of the most traumatic shits in my fucking life. So, ladies and gentlemen, due to the fact that, forget, ignore my clone for a second, I apologize. The fact that Stinkers McGee over here can, will, refuses to eat his fucking food that has the medicine he needs to beat his current infection in his paw because he, he fucked around and ripped his claw out some fucking how. I now have to put catnip in his food to get him to eat this shit. Say hi, gremlin. Say hi, little stinker to the camera. He's adorable, but he's a pain in my ass. All right, so ready to listen to Afro Man and zoom, and zoom, get zoom the fuck out? We are boy. Hey guys, what's going on? Evan from High Media here. I want to uh, let's take a quick second to say hi to Mini Evan in the corner, who's going to be playing some gameplay for you in the background. Say hi, Mini Evan. Great. So I want to talk about extraction-based game. Uh, Dark and Darker is, in fact, the one game that. I feel is closest to something that I could enjoy playing. In fact, I love the skill system, the gameplay, the dungeon delving, the looting. I love everything 
about Dark and Darker. It feels like first person Diablo, but like actually perilous with stakes. And the thing that kind of scuffs me with it is the fact that it's an extraction based game. And I want to be very clear. Let just to address the elephant in the room. I'm aware of the current scandal going on with Dark and Darker. I do not condone it. This was a bad business move on their part. And I bought the game way a long time ago. I, I did not buy it recently. So just to cover my ass there. But to get back to it, my big I think Dark and Darker is a perfectly fun game. The gameplay is is great. Uh the 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 the, the it feels like you know, a very meritous, you know, when you are able to get out, it feels good. But the here is, I think, unlike Battle Royale style games, which is a type of gameplay that a gameplay mode that I just could not get behind and could not enjoy just for the virtue of I just did not enjoy it. I actually have a, crit a criticism of the extraction uh, game genre as it exists right now. And I, I feel this way with Warzone, and I feel this way with Tarkov. Um, the fundament, the, the the issue I have with the extraction-based game is fundamentally, it is pulling from it is a roguelike type of experience that does not lend you the ability to grow. So, what do I mean by that? In Dark and Darker as you will with most ex uh, extraction-based games, you will go in with bare-bones gear, try and grab as much shit as you can, extract, put it in your stash, rinse, repeat. Sell miscellaneous items for cash. Um, This I have an issue with, primarily because... At the end of the day, you you are you can watch, you're watching you know, on screen how bad I am at the game. I'm not fantastic at it. I will say I do enjoy the Warlock class a lot. But, you know, when I'm able to extract, and I feel good, and I want to use the things I just extracted with, there's no way for me to ensure my gear and, and keep it in, 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 in now. It's like a, a large part of my build. It's just... Dump the things that you like, and that's it. Don't pick up, don't pick up trash. And it, and what ends up happening, and I get into this, is because I don't want to lose any of my valuable goods. I don't actually bring anything worth a damn with me into the um, in, into the into the dungeons. Which. What's the point of me wanting to bring loot out? Like, what I end up focusing on grabbing are potions, uh, uh, things that are valuable, and quest items. And that's it. I don't focus on anything else. Like, you know, sure, maybe I'll pick up some gear here and there that, you know, feeds into my class or whatever. But by and large, I could give a rat's ass about most of the other loot. And so, this kind of gets to the heart of why I have an issue with a lot of extraction-based games. Extraction-based games cannot be the entire crux of the game. And if they need to be a supplemental mode, what do I mean by that? The gear that I get in this extraction mode, I need to be able to use it for something else. So what what would that look like in a Dark and Dark Raid? A low fantasy... Like a, a, like a low fantasy D and D type of thing. You know, you got some magic, you got some undead, but like you're not. But like realistically, you are just a squishy as human. Otherwise, well, I think that looks uh, in in the way of of a single player uh, generated. Um, I'd say that looks in the way of single player auto gen uh, uh, quest lines paths. Uh, have single player content where. You know, you don't, you aren't at risk of losing your losing your stuff when you go into it. This is the gear, and then upon beating a boss at the end of it, or doing co-op stuff with other players, and, and beating bosses by the, at the end of a, of a run, you uh, unlock. Uh, obviously, you get gold and stuff like that, but you also get access to uh, uh, 
uh, an item that allows you to uh, soul bind a piece of gear. And you can only do these runs, these types of... And, you, and, and each time you do the run, it gets harder and it gets harder and it gets harder. And so you're incentivized to... Uh, and, you're, and, and you're incentivized to, uh, you know, keep going into harder and harder instances of the extraction to be able to, to, to fight more and more of the bosses, to be able to soul bind your gear so you can vote. And then what that ends up doing, in my mind, is giving a external reason to use the gear. You don't lose the gear in the fight with the boss at the solo, solo or co-op instance if you die. But if you do get the gear and, and the ability to beat it, then congratulations. You now have you now um have more slots, I guess. Well you have an extra slot or an extra or you can now get some like uh, items to bind specific items you want to your person. You know, this is just an example. You know, the other thing I dislike about extraction based shooters is so much of the game is in like of the game outside of the runs are in menus. Dark and Darker is a D it feels like a D&D dungeon delving experience. There is absolutely zero reason for so much of the game to be in menus. There there if you make a town instance and have like, you know, yes, have, you know, make it so the NPCs don't have them voiced, obviously because that's a pain in the ass, but like have them be text-based. And you have to go up and you go up to them in the merchant district and talk to them and do all the different things. Um, you know, and it doesn't even have to necessarily be um, mandatory that you have to physically go and talk to them. What you can also do is just, you know, just use the menus otherwise. But having that physical space in a town where you and 16 other players can, you know, you can't unseat your weapons or anything. Uh, but, like, a little town where all of these, you know, merchants and stuff are, and all the services and everything are, have a physical location that you can go to, would, would, would lend a lot of credence to the world feeling kind of, like, bigger. And, more importantly, it would also, um, have a space where you could interact with other players for longer than, at most, two minutes. It would even give you the option, maybe even build a little sparring arena inside where you guys can, where people can fight each other for fun and not lose their gear. There, the 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 dark and darker aesthetic and, and and premise that they have here is so good and so verbose that I understand that it 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 it, it pains me that it doesn't exist. And I know that there's a good chance they might do that at some point. I'd like them to, but at the bare minimum, there needs to be something extrinsic that makes you want to, you know, use your loot. And and, 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 and more importantly, there needs to be a way to save to save your loot. You know, I understand it's a it's a it's a it's a unforgiving PvP battler and stuff like that. But by and large. I, I don't know. I personally genuinely do feel like it, it, the, the game would be better if, and I feel like the, I feel like if you can't add extrinsic things like to supplement, like, like to use your gear on, I would love a option to just be able to um, soul bind my gear. And if I can't soul bind my gear, I would love to just auto queue. I would love a button that when I die, it just auto cues me into the next, um, into the next uh, match instead of bouncing me to um, back to the main screen. Like if I'm gonna lose all of my shit anyways and go and get kicked back to the main screen, why the fuck do I want to give a shit about going back to the main screen? I'm not gonna equip any new gear. If I had any gear, I lost it, and so I'm gonna go, you know, hit the goblin caves and try and grind some more shit. I don't know. I think, I think, I I think, while I'm less enamored with the idea of the extraction, I do love the dungeon delving. I do love how dark and gritty it is. I do love having to pull up a torch and like just to see in front of me. And I love the enemies. I love I love all of that. And if we're being 
be honest, I'm in love with the aesthetic, and I'm in love with the, 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 the combat and the skill system, and I'm in love with the with what Dark and Darker could be. It's just what it is at this at this premise, the extraction based gameplay without any reason to feel like I, I should care about what loot I, I got does not feel good to me. You know, there are other types of game modes uh, in other games that I feel like do this kind of way, this risk versus reward type of thing. So a good example of this for me is the Elder Scrolls Online. They have a zone in there called the Imperial City. You have a little counter at the bottom called your Telvar counter. It, it, when you have, like, however much Telvar you physically have on your person, equates to how close your multiplier down how much drops. So if you only have 100, you have a 2 times multiplier. And then, and, and so you'll get 2 times the amount of Telvar you normally get if you have less than 100. And if you have over 1,000, if you have 1,000, it goes to 3. And then if you have 10,000, it goes to 4, and 4 is maxed out. Now, if you don't kill some shit, you get four times the amount of, of Telvar currency you would normally get. And if you die, you lose half of it, and if your player kills you, they get half of the shit you dropped. So, you know, you, you are incentivized as a, as a player to, to kill people, which is understandable. And I, you know, and, and, and there are tons of rewards, gear, loot, like plenty of things you can spend money on, collectibles. Real world, there are collectibles that you can get that cost real world money that you can get just by grinding out Talibar. And this isn't a huge part of the main game. It feeds into other aspects of the game. Like the other getting gear that you wouldn't really be able to get that's powerful. Uh, collectibles, skins, storage space and houses. They, they, added, they made the chests that they added to the housing is included in that. There's tons of cool things that do that. And honest to God, I wish you know, Dark and Darker had another element to it that feels like more. Like, I feel like the concept of a Dark and Darker would pair well with a Vermintide. You know what I mean? I mean, if you add, if Dark and Darker added a four-player Vermintide-like type of co-op mode, where you have an objective and you have to fight through enemies and a thing, but it just generates to get to the end, I think that would be lovely. I think that would be a great idea. And I think, and, and, and if you die, you don't lose your shit. Like, that would be wonderful. Well, Evan, what, what kind of loot do you get? Well, you only, you only get, like, loot from it that you have already found. Like, the loot that drops from them are, are things you've already found. And any and the, and the items you, be, you get from it are worth less. It would allow you to grind out health potions and shit. You know, it would make you, you know, do things like that. You can also, it's... I just want a reason to play the game outside of just hopping into matches, dying in the first few minutes, and then feeling like I've been spending more time in loading screens than I am playing the fucking game. And I'm, am I still going to play it? Absolutely. I genuinely do enjoy Dark and Darker, even if it's extraction-based bullshit. I genuinely like the Warlock class. It feels very good to me to play. Um, it's a nice balance of... You know, I, 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 I like the way it builds, I like the way it plays, and honestly, there's, I think I'm going to take some more time with it, but at the end of the day, I want Dark and Darker to be something it's probably not going to be for a long time, or if ever, and that makes me sad. So I hope that there is a Dungeon Delver type of game that, 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 that like, is, has, is as strong as a Dark and Darker without, you know, having the entirety of the experience of gameplay being just around the extraction games. I need extraction games to have more meaning to them than just hoarding loot like a dragon and never using it because you're scared to. Because that's just me. I'm the type of kid who saved all of his recovery items and, until he had already beaten the game to where they were useless at that point. Ain't that a bitch? But I don't uh, anywho, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. I appreciate your time and your viewership. Um, if you want to support the show, please consider doing so at hmedia.gg slash tip. A dollar a month is a good about my health. And I'll see you guys next time. Good luck.
Doggies. Yeah, and the a spinoff game for the Outer Wale DLC, it was fucking amazing. One of my favorite. It was actually the, it was actually the most recent. Uh, Assassin's no, Creed. I was talking about how this guy doesn't know that Egypt is a part of Africa. Oh. Uh, he must be uh, educated by the American uh, education system. Pity. All right, I will fucking ban you. <laughs> Listen, man. Like the older I get, the more I can't fault the average layman for being a fucking moron. No, just uh, are we just? I'm sorry. We I we just deserve the meteor more than the fucking dinosaurs. I I don't think you're wrong. Failed the test. Eat the port, you dumb raccoon. Eat the port. Eat it. Go numb. Do it. God, look at him. Look at like Batsy McGee over here. Not a fucking thought in, behind those eyes. And now we condemn the baby boom slime to death. Say goodbye, everybody, for the fetus is dead. Yay! The, the fetus has been aborted. Huzzah. Why are you... Not here. Damn it, Marty! I didn't think the memes were accurate. Fuck. Why, of course, Ma Mayor Lewis wants to look like a pimp named Slickback. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> Miguel's so fucking autistic. Yeah, I'm probably screwed here. I don't have lethal. No, I'm dead. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. It is. Oh wait, no, yeah. It is. Do you not know how to do quick math in your head, I media? Dog, I didn't get into computer programming as my profession because I was good at fucking math. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Iron Man spelled two words? Spider-Man, Iron Man, Batman, all one word. Batman, right. Um, it, the reason why things like Iron Man 2, Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Batman are all, like, spelled differently is, you know, is two reasons. Um, one, um, copyright law. Copyright law dictates, like, the, how certain things are spelled are, like, copyrightable and are more defensible than others, and if you, you know, spell Batman like thing. it's a whole thing the second reason is from about 1940 till about 1987 everybody was doing large amounts of amphetamines the war on like 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 most like most people who miss the Ronald Reagan era don't miss Ronald Reagan they miss cheap cocaine that's the answer. And so the reason why all of them are spelled differently is 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 copyright law and drugs. Alright, those these, are the these, these are some, now. Dude, these are some food crimes right here. What the fuck? War crimes. War crimes. War crimes. I said food crimes, no, not food war crimes. crimes. Not There's war a difference. Crimes. No, I I know, I know. I'm just I just got a card.
that will com that will uh, complete my war crimes. You know how like when you oh. get like a bad steak, you know how like when you get like a bad steak, it's just chewy, it's well done, it's like not seasoned well. You just douse that bitch. In, you either throw it out or douse it. If you have to eat it, you douse it in a one sauce. Uh huh. Blink. Um, War crimes, have, you, are you guys like aware men. of how the English do Chinese takeout? Hmm. Um. Ow. Yeah. War crimes have been or 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 Chinese takeaway. They Never don't have Oreos. They with they, they 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 do not get food. And like eat it like the wonton soup and the lo mein and then the rice and all that stuff. No, they, what do they do? get rice, meat, put it on a plate, and then dump just all the sauce on top. And what the fuck? Egg, if you are here, go to table three. This, 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 this is the culture should still be there. that subjugated two thirds of the plant of the human race, and they are eating like they didn't invade most of the world for their seasonings. Egg. Go to My favorite egg genre egg. of TikTok at present is, you know, UK kids being fed American food. Oh man. I, I hate this country just as much as every person who's polit who's like who's like very deeply dissatisfied and young like with the current state of things, but I feel my hate every time I see the food crimes and the opinions of Europeans, especially British people, I can feel the hatred of America losing my body and you can just hear the screeching of an eagle going oh, in the background. <laughs> I dipped my pizza in mustard and all of the. Wait, what? What? Pe hot dog toppings on pizza. I, I slammed my bonus in the car door. You slam. Oh, thank God. Thank God. That was the last fucking thing I needed for the fish tank. I am never doing this shit again. Oh, holy Jesus H. Christ. God is good, and I am no longer an atheist. Fuck me. So, like, I, I, I feel like at that point, you should just start doing cocaine or methamphetamines. Because, like, I feel like that'll take less time, to, like, I feel like meth will take more time to kill you than... Three monsters a day, plus blood thinners. Never been to the forest, huh? Well, guess what? You're waiting for me to ask me that? Aw, that's sweet. Well, I'm officially romancing my first character in Stardew. Let's go. There are still four face downs. Can't, does any of DMs? Nope. Yep. That 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 is the gate attack. <laughs> Oh man, lower for lower power attorneys like this are a doozy, man. That fucking negate attack, man. Two thousand and six called. Holy shit, I love it. That's fucking hilarious. Yep. Here's my here's my thing. If we're just to bring it grounded for a second, and I know we're talking politics, I know we don't typically do politics on here, but it's unprecedented times. It's unprecedented. Give us a break. Can I can I just go <laughs> ten minutes, please? Without living through unprecedented times, can I just not have a once-in-a-lifetime event happen, happen for one day? I just want one day. day. I just want one day where I can go outside and immediately not have the sun melting the skin off my body. 
while political like well, political criminals like roll by on a on, on, on a flatbed sniffing cocaine off a, off, a, off a fucking hooker's ass and then immediately going to go bomb another country with a tactical nuke. Like, I just want the peace for 24 hours. I beg. Uh, why is it in a cage? Because it growled at me. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I, lo I, I like my little frog warrior princess. Do you save scum in that game? Absolutely. fucking lootly Are you kidding yeah. me? I was gonna. I was gonna say, if you just take them random one or two fucking dice rolls, or a nat zero, like they love to fucking give a nigga. Oh my god! <laughs> don't don't get me wrong. I would like to do like a a run where I don't save scum whatsoever, and, and you do just that, accept and, it, and just accept it. I feel like that'd be fun and interesting. But like, no, what the fuck is up with kissing that goddamn squid? That fucking game wanted me to kiss that motherfucker so goddamn bad. I was like, yeah. fuck off. Yo, fuck you off. All the, wait, you're all the way in act three? Goddamn. No, 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 no. no. Uh, in act one, when you find him after you uh, get him out of the uh, ship, right? After you crash land the ship, when you first, uh, you get a few. Spoilers for BG3. Spoilers for BG3. Just It's literally the first, like, level. Like, after you get off of the ship. Nobody even knows what the fuck the ship is about. I don't even know why you're on that ship at first. So don't even tell me. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But you walk up to the guy who is piloting the ship. And I think if you don't kill him in that final battle on the ship, he is still alive. When you walk up to him, the game literally wants you to kiss him. He, they, they were like, he's infesting your mind. Do -ba 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 -ba. And then... I've done, yeah, oh, sorry, I want to be clear. I've done that sequence a lot of times it's more of him just trying to control you and get you to see him yeah to like you get killed and he comes back and is revived with all this fucking health but it's like under the guise of him like calling out to you and desiring you so i say it's kissing so i i know it's not actually but that, that's that, how that that's a that's a that's that is certainly a read on it <laughs> So, well, everything else in the goddamn game is about fucking why the fuck couldn't this be? Uh, this, like, like it's like it's like why is there a tactical RPG in my dating? Scene? Or why is there a, why is there a hentai uh, uh, tentacle monster in my fucking tactical RPG? Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Just you fucking wait. Oh no, I I bet I bet because because like this. if if that's the read you got off of that. I, I talk to me when you hit Act Three. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. But I'm just saying the amount. I'm not of times, about to spoil nothing for you. No, 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 no problem. But the amount of times that I fucking. You all still got some blood left in you. Cause you. you're gonna go to glory, whether you like it or not. One. Yeah, that's two. Reno. Well, it's good run, Windows. Really good run. I'm gonna keep it a buck under no circumstances under god's green earth am i ever going to upgrade to windows 11 we want to thank you for your loyalty as a windows 10 customer as end of support for windows 10 approaches we are here to support you on your pc journey your pc is not eligible to upgrade to windows 11 but will continue Continue to receive Windows 10 fixes and security updates until support ends on October 14th, 2025. I'm going to hang out on here for a while longer. But, uh, we move it to Linux, boys. We go in the way of the Penguin. As God intended. Uh, uh, excuse me. Fuck you, Microsoft.
fuck did the bone serpent go? Whatever. Who cares? Zero. Town. Not town. You know what? Town. That's probably quicker. Yay, we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna do it here. My bone sword's better, but it's technically one of a kind, so I guess I'll keep it.